Okay, so we're back here with our pink texture with the purple highlights at the top, the orange yellow in the middle, and the more vibrant pink at the uh, bottom. So we've got this pink texture. Um, so now what we're going to do is actually uh, I'll just go and make that a layer again. Okay, so first of all, We're going to take this mark Q tool. We don't need to do any layer effects at the moment. Pretty much done with them for now. Uh, and let's make a copy over here. And just for now, just do that. Since the uh, texture we work with probably wouldn't work very well with more than uh, two highlights, I'm not going to make more than two. Okay, so now what we're going to do here, actually. Well, first of all, let's do this one. The top one first would be preferable. So we go to bright, we go to color saturation again. This time we go to colorize. And we determine which one we want it to be. So uh, maybe we can give it a green. Right, green, yeah, nice and cyber gothic type uh, texture. So, let's turn that down a bit. Yeah. So we get turn it down so we can get all the strains, the strands, I think you call it, and uh, all the highlights in. So now let's merge these two the first two merge layers and you see only that part was affected so in the middle we've got a green strand now over here I'm going to repeat the process And you see how the green strand is uh, pretty much, uh, it's got all the same highlights as the rest. So that, that's what we really want. And now we do this one. Go to the color saturation. And I'm thinking maybe a purple. Oh, even this red would work, but red's not really cyber gothic, so uh, can we get it a purple color? There we go, that's uh, nice and purple. But it's very bright, so. Let's do it like that. Okay. And that was just with hue, we didn't really saturate it, well, colorize it, so, uh, it's not, th there is various differences, and, uh, yeah, I wasn't really intending to show you it with hue, but I kind of was out of habit, so, uh, yeah, as you can see, with the hue, you get a lot more, uh, variation in the color, but, uh, it's a bit more complex to use. So now you see we've got these two highlights in the middle of the pink one. Okay. So now what we're going to do, we've got the Mark Hue tool still. And now we're going to give some more shades and shadow. And we're not going to do it. It's not going to be the, the most complex way of doing it. So uh, 
This will be pretty easy. So make a new layer. And we fill this. And then we take the molecule tool down here, make to the middle, I'd say. Just to give it a little bit of a more depth. We'll do it over there in the middle. And then we'll do another one down at the bottom. Okay, uh, here we go, fill it. Now we take these two, like this, in the mark queue, and we go to filter. And we go to blur, and then we go to glassy and there. And that's pretty much what I want. And I'm going to do the same over here. And this time we can just go to Glossium Bird because it's at the top of the filter and it's got our settings in it. So, now obviously we don't want that. So, now it looks like we've got a bit of a line there. So, let's actually do a Glossium Bird without the marquee tool just to get rid of that. We won't do a very intense blur, we're going to take it down quite a bit. There we go. That's it, okay. So now, we got the shadow going on over here. And now that kind of takes away a little bit from uh, strand def definition, but it does give <laughs> the uh, texture a lot more vibrance and color. So now that's pretty much done. And well, there's one more thing that we could do here <coughs> just to improve it. Go to brightness contrast. That will make the, the black a bit more burnt in. And that will make it a bit more even brighter, depending on how bright you want it, but we can even do that if you don't want it so bright. So it's up to you what you want to do with the brightness. I personally just want to, probably just going to leave it at zero. It's more the contrast I was concerned about. Okay, and then there we go. And that's it. So this one's probably ready to be published. So let's have a look. Okay. Pink three. Okay, so there you go. Okay, well, the black highlights looks a bit too prominent, so we can always, it's a good thing to always just test these things, so let's take this down. Yep. 
every uh, meshes varies with how uh, it h handles the the contrast. So uh, bear with me a second. Okay. Oh, that looks a lot better. So we got shadows, we got shine, we got highlights. And well, what you could do now, I mean, it's up to you. You could use this base that we have if you have it. And we can do various colors with it. So We've got levels. We can do this. Well, I, I shouldn't say colors, but I should just say uh, different shades of it. And you can say variations of it. You can make multiple textures. Um, let's show you something else here. Uh, We could take the entire texture, especially with the hue, and we could do various stuff with it. Um, okay, we can change the colors drastically, and you can make various textures. As you can see, like so many possibilities just by sliding this along. Um, for definition you can adjust it just to make sure you get the right strand definition but uh, there's endless possibilities of how many textures you can make here uh, just by doing that and um, it is so easy so yeah play around any texture that you had that you really enjoyed that you that you thought was really good in the past you can do the same with and it is the easiest way just to make multiple textures for here so yeah just use that tip that is the biggest tip i have to share at the moment is yeah once you've made your textures just go in and change the hue saturation as much as possible it'll adapt to your shines and everything and it will be it will have very good results and it's a great way to, as i said to make multiple textures I mean this one, I don't see why anybody would want to wear these colors, but just because of how it looks, it looks like a really good texture. I'm just going to go and quickly save it, and we can have a quick look at it. And obviously, I'm not going to call it pink, I'll call it uh, gold. And We just do this one last time, and I'll show you one last texture and how it looks. And there we go. Various colors. It's got a lot of strand definition. I don't see why anybody would really want to wear those colors, but uh, yeah, it's a very good, powerful texture. So. Uh, and as you could see, you can use it to make multiple different colors. So, yeah, enjoy it.